Hey, what's going on, guys? I'm just here to explain y'all how to install the .fxp file types onto Nexus for Fruity Loop Studios. So let's get started. So I've seen a lot of tutorials where there's this lack of instruction, basically, uh, no clarity, and hopefully I can change it with this tutorial. So in order to get these file types on a Nexus, the first thing you'll have to do is go find out what or find your uh, your download. So in my case, I've downloaded the Trapper Die Nexus expansion pack, and as you can see, we have all the .fxp uh, file types in here. Now I'll show you on Fruit Loop Studio what typically happens. So once you go here, open up your uh, Nexus, and normally you go to System, Import Data. And then you look for the uh, expansion pack. However, of course, even with all types selected, you're not going to see the uh, files. So what I've discovered you have to do is uh, when you go to your expansion pack you downloaded, what you want to do is you'll go back to where it's just the entire folder right here. Now, the next part to do is you're going to go to program files. And this may vary depending on where you installed it. Uh, mine's at times 86. You're going to find VST plugins. You're going to go to Nexus content. And now you're going to, be going to presets. Now, all here is where most of the Nexus uh, Nexus type things are in the library. You know, the arpeggios, bass, classical. So, in this case, what you want to do is you're going to get your expansion pack and you're going to drag and drop or copy and paste wherever you want into the presets, you know. So, use continue, administrator, uh, the, the administrator permission, and it should be on here now. So, trap or die. So now we'll go back onto FL Studio, and we'll check our Nexus again. Now, in this case, we may have to restart FL Studio for the change to take effect, so we'll do that real quick. So, replace that with Nexus, and we'll look for it, and there it is, Trap or Die. Now, as you can see, most of these are working, I'm not going to go through all of them, of course, just to save the time of seeing that. So, as most of you can tell, this is all working now, and this is in no way involving most of the complicated tutorials I'm sure most of y'all have seen on YouTube. Uh, to reiterate, all you have to do is go to your expansion pack you've downloaded, wherever it's at, your downloads, desktop. You're going to drag the entire folder, not the individual FXP files, onto your VST plugins, next to content presets folder, to drop that entire folder in here, and then you're going to restart FL Studio if you do have it open. And then as soon as you do, you'll have all your new expansions on there. Hope this helped, and have a good time.